Hi there, it's September the 26th. We're continuing our progress through Paul's letter to the Ephesians. We're in chapter 4 and we're reading from verses 17 to 32. So Paul has been describing the new life that is in Christ, the way that we are now incorporated into him, that we are his body, that he's given gifts to the church, to equip the church, and so we are now living as Christ's representatives in the earth. So Paul homes right in here on the, the, the way that we now conduct ourselves as followers of Jesus. Now it's interesting that he uses a term here uh, just uh, in this beginning part, in this verse 17, he says don't behave like now, the word he uses has been translated in many English translations as Gentiles. Don't behave like the Gentiles. That means everyone who is outside the Jewish nation. The word in the Greek is actually the nations. Don't behave, don't behave like the nations. Now, the word he seems to be using here is in the context of not being God's people. So don't behave like those who are not God's people, because now we have been made part of God's people. Uh, we have been brought into the commonwealth of Israel, as it were. We have been made part of the covenants and the promises. So we are not like the, the nations. We are not like those who are without God, but we are God's nation. We are grafted into his people. The nations, those without God, live out of their um, their, 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 their lower being. They live out of their sin. They live out of their sinfulness. Their hearts separated from God. But that's not who we are. And actually who we are should be coming out of our new life in Christ, our new lifestyle. We're dead to the old ways. We are to, to have nothing to do with that way of living. Instead, Paul says we're to be renewed in the spirit of our mind, in the new way of thinking, in the metania, to use that word, that Greek word meaning turnaround, that new way of thinking. And God is wanting us to learn this new way of thinking, this new trans ideation, this new complete way of thinking that he has given to us. And we are to put on the new humanity. And that's not just a new humanity, any old humanity, that is the humanity of Christ, the resurrection humanity that Jesus is now living in. Now this, towards the end of our reading, this has very practical outcomes. It says, don't lie anymore. Stop stop lying to one another it was anyway out of uh, excluded and outlawed under the, the the law of moses but actually now this comes out of who we are don't lie don't steal paul says something interesting he says be angry anger is a, a normal human emotion we, we are angry because we see injustice this is be angry but don't sin don't use anger as an excuse to act in ungodly ways and so when we feel that anger, we are not to vent that on, on people, but we are to use that as the energy to see righteousness restored and not abuse and hurt other people. So we're not allowed, we're not, we're not, we're not, in, we're discouraged from allowing unwholesome words to use speech that breaks down, speech that pulls down, speech that hurts. Uh, rather, our speech is to be filled with grace. And he says, lastly, don't disappoint God's Holy Spirit because this is not about just behaviors it's actually coming out of the fact that we are Christ's body that Christ is living in us by his spirit and therefore we're called to reflect to live in that new creation that place that we are to be kind to one another to cherish one another and to forgive one another just as Christ forgave us just as God in Christ forgave us. This is the picture Paul's, Paul has of this new humanity in Christ that is not living as the ungodly live. It's not living as the nations apart from God live, but this is now being part of God's commonwealth, being part of God's people, being part of the covenants and the promises that Israel brought in, that we are now inheriting through Israel's Messiah. We are to live differently. Let's seek to do that today and let's seek to live in the power of the Holy Spirit so that we're reflecting the new humanity of Christ to all those around us who need to hear good news. Have a very good September 26th.